So Atom as a name is just a sort of a code name for the development platform? Uh, it was an internal name. In fact, uh, we are into a lot of things. We have the cloud service as well, which is called Genesis. Uh -huh. It's actually based on, the, on, the, on all the names you'll find in the Bible. Genesis actually gives information to Adam and we have other products which might be called Eve, etc. Et so they're <laughs> on the line. Uh -huh. We have nine names for the internal products. This is for the first one. Okay. okay. So this is a screen. So as you can see, this is running on the normal LCD mode. Right. So you just press this button, this enters into your black and white EE display. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And you can see there's, there's no loss of hash rate at all. Right. It's as fast as you would find in any other display. And this is a capacitive display. It's a capacitive yeah. display. Mm -hmm. You have to have a capacitive display for this kind of product. Right. So to show you that uh, the actual screen, how good the screen is, I'm going to run this 1080p video. This is normal video, right? Mm -hmm. You can see that there's no frame loss in any either of the mode. So now you have an e display in the magazine content as well. So whether you're using newspapers or you're reading anything, you have the flash content which is being displayed at a very high refresh rate. Mm -hmm. So the ambient light is not good, you will not be able to find that kind of alpha value. But when you go out in the sun and you'll see how good it is. Mm. Right? Video is something you will not like to watch on this. So let me shift to one of the ebook videos. Yeah. Off. Hmm. So it's similar to an e ink concept. You're trying to get that type of uh, readability out outdoors, right? That's yes. the idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. The screen is just amazing. Very responsive. It doesn't matter which mode you are. Which Tegra chip is this? Uh, is it Tegra? So they don't, they don't want to call it Tegra 2. So you always call uh, it the Tegra, right? Yes, oh, exactly. So this is, this is based on the architecture that we announced at our press conference. Uh -huh. um, so this is our new generation of, of Tegra. Okay. Um, using the um, ARM uh, A9. Okay. Dual core. What's the resolution of the display? You, you mentioned 1080p playback, but I, I guess yeah, that you would cannot be... view on the screen, right? Right. So yeah. the right now it's 1024 by 600. Okay. Normal LCD resolution is there, but mm -hmm. you have this HDMI output which you can see here. HDMI, you right? Just plug in HDMI on your big 52 mm -hmm. whatever screen you can watch this video. That's great. So one more thing we need to understand is we we are going to use these kind of devices in sun everywhere to read news as well and browse mm -hmm. internet. Right. So they are already doing flash acceleration. But there's JavaScript as well, because a lot of content nowadays is on JavaScript. Right. So there's a small app which you can see here. So this is, this is JavaScript acceleration which we have done for, this, for these kind of things. So this is one of the only tablet which, are, which is JavaScript accelerated. Okay. okay. So I'm going to uh, put this in the auto mode. Okay. And you can see different animations running on JavaScript. Pure JavaScript. Okay. And this is just to demonstrate its capabilities. Its capabilities, yeah. yes. They can do any kind of animation in JavaScript. So, sooner and sooner the examples uh, go complex. So, when you see that it will reach a point where it's going some thousand lines at the same time, and then you can see there's no loss of clarity at all. So, it's meant to demonstrate that when you're on a site that's heavy with JavaScript, that it can handle it easily? Yes. That's the idea? Yes. Is the browser fully functional it's on this device? Functional. Okay. But the Android browser is not fully functional for this kind of things. Oh, okay. But our device will be. So when our device comes out, it's not Android. It's a bit of wrapper around the Android. Android oh, okay. is designed for 3.2 screen. Mm -hmm. This is 10-point device. Right. So you cannot just convert it, right? So yes. you need to do some sort of modification. So our user interface is going to be different. We have this JavaScript installations there, mm -hmm. which are going to make it run much faster. So will the browser itself be different? But browser itself will be different. So it'll be based on WebKit, but... Based on WebKit. Yeah. So WebKit is very powerful. And right. And a lot. Mm -hmm. So there's a special integration for HTML5, which we're going to do. For example, the video clips directly inside your browser without any codecs. Mm -hmm. Which is what HTML5 does for you. Right? Yep. What about uh, multi-touch? Like, can you so do, like, the screen pinch and zoom? The capacity and... screen is multi-touch, but right. Android has to say, yes, go ahead. Right. It's not up to us. The screen <laughs> is capable of... What about applications? Um, so we are going to come up with our own application, own app store in fact. Uh, okay. We are already talking to the community who will uh, design applications for us. So they, have, they, they just showed the Unreal Engine yesterday on the, on the press conference where you can uh, do physics. So 
you can write games, but Android is not good for games. The issue is based in Java, and they have Java Dalvik machine, Java, which will process everything. So it's very slow on it. Okay. But it does allow you to, to directly work on the technology, which they have done. Mm -hmm. So it's a very small example where you can have some 200 different objects simultaneously interacting with each other. And there's no loss of frame. It will run as fast. This is right now running at 65, mm -hmm. because that is what the screen can support at the max. Wow. So you think this could be a powerful gaming platform? It's a very, very powerful gaming platform. Mm -hmm. After that, X one meter and other things, and you can just in space do it. Good. So, what sort of battery life are you targeting for? You know, let's say if you're using this in e-reader mode. So, uh, just to give you an idea, so when the chip is not running, it's consuming some somewhere on a microwatt, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is 24 watt battery which we are using right now. Okay. And the screen will use some 0.2 milliwatt. Mm -hmm. So you can do your maths. When I say the number, people say it's not possible, so I will not say the number again. Okay. If you do your math, you can find out how, how long it will run. Okay. It will beat Kindle easily. Okay, great. Because, because right now, you're not doing anything. What about in full power mode, uh, when you have the, the LCD backlit? So, again, you have 24, even if you divide 24, divide by a 2, that is a 2 watt uh, display. Okay. So 1 watt, 2 watt, depending on what, uh, what is the hash rate, but still it's not using much. So, so close to a full day? More than uh, that. Yeah. Way more than that. Okay.